This is an oxygen tent example where we have a 40 foot cubed oxygen tent um, with this flow rate of an oxygen stream, an enriched oxygen stream. This is 35 uh, mole percent coming in. The, the inside the oxygen tent is initially at 21 percent. Okay, that's mole percent O2. Um, which is typical for atmospheric conditions. And we want to try to predict um, when the oxygen level is going to reach 0.27 uh, mole fraction. Okay, so we want to, uh, uh, first of all, set up the balance. Um, this is going to be a species balance to calculate the total moles of gas, O2 plus N2 in the tent at any time. And then, um, we're going to then calculate uh, the time dependent solution of the mole fraction of oxygen in the outlet stream. We're going to write a differential mole balance on oxygen, assuming that the tent contents are perfectly mixed. Okay, so um, we're going to convert uh, the balance into an equation for dx dt and provide an initial condition. And then as a final step, we'll solve that by separating and integrating um, this system. Okay, so uh, if there's no accumulation in the system, the overall mole balance says that the number of moles coming in needs to equal to needs to equal the number of moles leaving. First of all, we're going to set up, uh, you know, actually calculate the number of moles inside um, inside this vessel. Okay, and we're going to do that with the ideal gas law. This is low enough pressures and high enough temperatures that we can apply the uh, ideal gas law. Okay, and then, um, you know, so for this case, we have a pressure of 14.7 PSIA and uh, absolute, and, uh, and then we have 40 uh, foot cubed divided by, and then I'm just going to look up the R value um, that fits the units. This is the ideal, this is the uh, gas constant, uh, PSIA uh, foot cubed divided by uh, degrees uh, ranking and pound mole. Okay, and then um, 528 degrees uh, ranking. Okay, so that's going to equal uh, 0 0.1038 and that's going to be in pound moles. Okay, so now um, also let's calculate the number of moles coming in as well. Um, we're going to do this calculation. This is going to be 16 psi. So this is gauge pressure, and so we need to add 14.7 psi to get uh, 16 psi absolute. Okay, so um, if we do this calculation, we have uh, pressure in is going to be 16.0 psi a. Okay, times, um, and then we have a volumetric flow rate, um, and that's going to be um, 60 foot cube per minute. Okay, that's going to be the uh, flow rate of the gas coming in. And uh, let's use our same gas constant, 10.73, and our same temperature as well. And that's going to give us a flow rate of 0 0.1694 uh, pound moles per minute. Okay, so um, there we have the flow rate coming in, uh, the number of moles in the vessel itself. And uh, we have this, this balance right here that we derived um, from DNO2 dt equals flow rate of O2 coming in minus the flow rate of O2 out. And then we just split that into mole fraction. A mole fraction times the total moles coming in and a mole fraction times the flow rate going out. And this is going to be equal to um, the, flow the mole fraction coming out because it's well mixed. Okay, so now we can um, plug these in Okay, there um, is my mole fraction going out. I have the number of moles um, flow rate coming in, also the vessel as well. And now I can separate and integrate. 
Um, so I'm going to bring all the YO2 terms to one side. Okay, and then all of the uh, time terms to the other side. Okay, and I'm going to integrate from 0 to an unspecified time and uh, go from 0 0.21 and then the final um, is going to be 0 0.27. Okay, solving this, um, it's going to lead to a solution of uh, you know, integrating this um, is going to be natural log of uh, 0 0.25 three five minus y o two okay the final which is going to be um, that's going to be point uh, zero point two seven um, divided by zero point three five minus zero point two one okay and then that's going to equal negative n dot n over n vessel Okay, and uh, times time. So if I just solve for this, uh, time is going to be equal to uh, 0 0.343 minutes, so less than uh, half a minute. Um, for the oxygen level to reach uh, 0.27. Okay, so very fast, does that make sense? Um, here's the, uh, here are the number of moles for my total room, or the oxygen tent. And here's the flow rate coming in per minute. So, you know, this is uh, much higher uh, per minute than the total volume of the room. So it makes sense that we're going to reach a, a fairly elevated uh, oxygen concentration. Um, it's going to taper off to 0.35, but it's going to reach that um, very quick, fairly quickly.